Greetings, greetings, my favorite descendants. It's your boy, JK Pro, and I'm back with yet another interesting tutorial. God knows what Sam said, yeah, you know, he's not a boy, yeah, he's a man. But I, anyway, he's always trying to be me. Sha, hence he's teaching maths lit, and I'm teaching pure maths. Right, let's get to the real stuff, not the kids stuff. Perfect. So, guys, today we're doing solving equations with square root, right? What am I talking about? It's those equations. Listen, we have something like 2x plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 2, right? But now the difference is it's your normal equation, but this time it has a square root on one side, right? So, let's just say it's 1.1. And you might be saying, this is so difficult to solve, right? Not really, it's not difficult to solve. So, what do we do, right? K Pro is going to teach you. That when it's like this, when you do this, first step, you put brackets on both sides and then you put a square to the power of 2, right? Remember, this is a square root, so we have an invisible, invisible 2 there, right? A 2 that we cannot see, that's why we call it a square root, there's a 2 in there, right? If it was a cube root, there was going to be a 3. Mathematicians know what I'm talking about. So yeah, it's a square root, so there's a 2 there, but usually mathematicians don't, don't insert it. That's why you can't see it. Because automatically, these mathematicians will know that there's a 2. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a square root. So, hence, I'm saying we're going to use this 2 to eliminate that 2. So this kills this, right? And when this kills this, we still have 2x plus 1, right? And now, this side... You know that these, when it's like this, as a mathematician, that you must open up two brackets. It just means that you must square, which means you must just multiply it by itself over and over again. Sharp, right? Perfect. Are we all familiar with this? We are. This is board mass. Brackets of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Sharp. So, x times x, you get your x squared. Guys, I'm distributing. This is what we call the distribution law. You learned about it in grade 5 or grade 6, right? x times negative 2, negative 2x. Negative 2, negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2. A negative and a negative is a positive. 2 times 2 is 4, right? Sharp. Then I come this side. What do I do? I group the like terms, right? Group like terms. Perfect. I don't need here, much. How do I group the like terms? I can take everything that side because the majority of the expressions or the majority of this whole thing that is, it's that side, right? So what do I do? I come this side, x squared minus 2x, exactly as it was. We know that negative 2x and negative 2x is obviously going to be a negative 4x, right? So just to simplify and save time, plus 4. How do we take this one to the other side? Every time we transpose, the sign changes. So I'm going to transpose the, the 2x and it's going to become your negative 2x. And I transpose the one, it's going to become your negative 1. Then, what do I do? I equate it to 0. Someone might ask, why do I equate it to 0? Because I told you that we use the standard formula when we are dealing with equations in grade 12. Why? Because we'll have to factorize at the end of the day. Sharp. So what do we do? We equate it to 0. So what happens now? Like terms, negative 4x, negative 2x will give me a negative 6x, right? Perfect, I've just dealt with the x's. 4 minus 1 is going to give me a negative, it's going to give me a 3, I'm sorry, a positive 3, right? Then I'm left with x squared is equal to 0. Do you notice now that here, it's either you can factorize or you can use my famous quadratic formula, which is negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2. Oh my god, I forgot the formula. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, right? You can use this, this formula, right? Not sure if it's correct. You can use this formula, put everything inside, the coefficient of here, coefficient of here, then you get your answer. You're going to get two answers. That's how you solve our equations with the square root. That is type 1. Thank you very much for watching. Follow us, Simon City, on all digital platforms Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, your Twitter, from me, your boy, right, JK Pro. Come on, but I'm coming up with a type 2. Well, 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 I'm back with type 2. So, guys, when it comes to type 2, you have to listen to me very, very carefully. So, basically, can you see what you now? The square root is on one, it's just on one term, right? These are terms, by the way, not expressions. I'm sorry for that. These are terms. It's on one term. So don't get confused or don't... Ish, man, don't get the zell, man. Lily zell. Check what happens now. What are you going to do now? We are going to transpose this one to the other side. So now we have x, right? When we transpose this one, it's going to become negative. So I have negative 1, right? Sharp. And you still have this one. 
right? Step by step, I'm running a rush. Sharp. X, negative 2 and a negative 1 is going to give me a negative 3. Sharp, right? And I still have that to the side, right? This is so easy, guys. I told you that when you want to remove this, you just square both sides because it's a square root. So you just square both sides. If you had a cube root, you're going to cube both sides. But that's not for you. Not on your, not, not your level. So what happens now? This will kill this. Then you have 2x, right? Is equal to in this thing. We're basically doing the same thing over and over again. Can you see that? Perfect, right? Then I distribute. When I distribute, I have x squared. Then I have negative 3x. Then I have negative um, 3x again. Then I have negative 3. Positive. 3 times 3 is 9. Then from there, I come to the side 2x. And then all I have to do, guys, from here, I transpose. I'm not going to go, go on further because it's the same thing. I transpose. Then I group the like terms. And then I equate to 0. And then I use my quadratic formula. Or I factorize using brackets. Simple enough. If you have any questions, please drop your questions in the comment section. And talk to us on Instagram. Talk to us on all digital platforms. Thank you very much for me, your boy. The hottest boy alive. Shout